Hello class, I'd like to introduce a new close reading lesson that I've set up for you. We've done a couple of these recently, these close reading lessons, and you should be fairly familiar with the format by now, but I will review the format. This time, we'll be doing it a little differently. I've given you access to this article here called More Earthquakes? No. More People? Yes. I'd like you to do a, the initial cold read of this article at home instead of in class as we've done before. Please read this article at home, beginning to end. Don't take any notes or anything. It's a cold read. Just read it beginning to end. You'll get plenty of chances afterwards to discuss it and to go over any vocabulary or ideas you might not understand. I'll show you the questions I'd like you to keep in mind as you do this cold read, after you do this cold read. So we've been studying natural disasters in class and we've touched on earthquakes before. So you should be somewhat familiar with things like Richter scale and tectonic plates, but we will review these in class during our, when we do the close reading lesson in class. So. Here's the article. I'd like you to read it beginning to end. And the following questions are ones I've come up with for the lesson. I'd like you to, I'll give you, I'll give you access to these also, but let me just show you these here in the video. Um, keep in mind questions like, what countries experienced terrible earthquakes in 2010? If cities and people were further away from earthquakes, would, be the, would they be as affected by the earthquake's force? What does it mean that tectonic plates fit together like puzzle pieces? What is the tone of this article? What is this article telling us about earthquakes? Why are earthquakes more of a problem now than they were in the past? What do we learn from this article about how to develop our cities in the future? In what ways are new laws about building, helping or not helping the people in cities? And finally, how can you connect what you know about where you live to this discussion of earthquakes in the article? So after you do your cold read, I'd like you to go back and highlight the sentences, highlight a sentence in each paragraph that you choose as the main idea. We'll review your answers in class but try to try to pick as close as you can to what the uh, main idea is. So again, at home, I'd like you to do a cold read. Think about the questions. I'll give you access to the questions. Maybe formulate some answers because we'll, be <clears throat> we'll be discussing them in class. And then I'd like you to go through and highlight what you think the main idea of each paragraph is because we'll discuss that as well. We'll be discussing subjects and verbs. And in the end, we'll be, in a class discussion, we'll be coming up with an overall main idea paragraph. So thanks very much, and we'll see you tomorrow.